I'm going to attempt to do an auto roast right now. My roaster's been heating up. I got the temp set for a drop at 186. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play back. Um, I'm not going to do the playback drop because I'm going to use the um, Ethiopian whoosh. So I'm going to drop that a little bit lighter than my background roast that I'm going to use. So I'm going to load my background roast. I'm really happy with this Papua, Papua New Guinea that I tried. So I'm going to put that in the background. And what I've done is I've checked the playback events and I'm basing it off of the VT temp. So I'll hit OK with that. All right, and then um, I'm going to I actually have my all my beans set up in uh, Artisan Plus. So I've loaded my stock. Here's a drop down list of everything that I have. So I'm going to use the Whoosh Black Honey. Uh, my weight's going to be charge weight's going to be 450. So I hit OK with that. When you want Artisan to detect auto charge, when you put your beans in, it'll automatically set your charge. And also when you drop your beans, under events you would check auto charge and auto drop. And then also mark your TP. So it'll mark it once your beans start turning, the turning point, TP is turning point, it'll mark uh, when they start turning. Hit OK. You can see that my previous roast, um, I charged at 185. I dropped at 202, but with this one, I'm going to drop it probably about 196, just to make sure that it's uh, not gonna go too dark. I am going to check the playback aid here, so that way doesn't want to check. That way, it's just going to pop up as a reminder of when the settings are going to change, or when to change my settings. Even though I'm not going to use the playback aid unless I need to. Okay, what I've done is I went ahead and up my SV set value temp to 230. I'm going to hit start. Uh, okay, and then I um, got my beans in the hopper and I'm going to drop them right now. So what's happening now over here, it's already uh, decided my charge temp and uh, it's rocking and rolling automatically. So I have not touched any settings. The settings is going on its own. It did drop to 20, which is what my original background setting was once I drop to my beans. So it should be following this curve that I have in my background. TP was at approximately uh, 113. The temperature of the power changed to 80. My drum speed is still at 100 and my fan is at 40, which is what my background is approximately. It did change to 40, but my background didn't have 40. So, but it's following the temperature. So it's basing it off of my background profile temp. So as I was filming, um, I got a cell phone call, so I missed part of my uh, roast. But anyways, here is, we're at 185. I am in a rolling clock, so we'll look at the beans. They're looking pretty good. 
it appears that this auto list is working well. If you look at my ROR, it's steadily going down. I did not hit playback on the drop, but I'm getting pretty close to where I want my beans at. The power did drop automatically. Smoke is at 40. My target temp here is I'm going to pretty much go dropping around 196 since this is going to be a lighter bean as an Ethiopian. But um, you can see that all of my settings are following along. Uh, the ROR is going up a little, but I'm getting ready to drop, so I'm not too concerned about that. I just posted my final roast weight, which is 388, 13.8% loss. What I'm going to do also is I am going to click this link down here. Oops. And it'll open up Artisan Plus. Where I have my information on the, the whoosh. And I'll take this, uh, copy this info. And uh, I'm not very good at doing it with one hand. Let me try the mouse. Hold on just a second. Copy it. Go back to here and I'll enter the info in my notes. Paste that. Cut that. Paste it down here. And then I'll hit OK. And what I've done is um, I allowed my info to show up in this uh, info window. It shows me my batch size, my percent loss of weight, where I my roast range needed to be, and the flavors of this actual um, bean. So concluding here, we still have the background loaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the background out so we could just see cleanly what my actual roast is. I dropped it at 196. Development time was a little, little long, which is usually here I want to shoot for like a one, like one minute, one minute 15 drop. It seemed like my first crack started a bit early, or I could have marked it a bit early because um, I was filming and not paying 100% attention. I did start this roast at a little bit higher charge temp, so it would have been a little bit longer roast. Actually, 746 is not too bad. So, but the roast weight is perfect. So more than likely, this is going to be a really good roast. This is what the machine did on auto, kept the drum at 100. It pretty much followed uh, the background that I had as an auto roast. So the auto roast is working really well on Artisan. Let's conclude this, uh, the settings for a background profile. Uh, I don't know what all of these are, but I'm just leaving them alone. I'm not sure what show means, but I could try that another time, or maybe you guys can try it. If you want to drop your beans at the exact same time as the background roast, just click that, and your fans will turn on, and you just drop your beans, and it'll be set. I didn't check that because I wanted to drop these beans earlier than my playback. This is the option to play back um, your auto roast and then you check these boxes that you want it to follow you can follow it by time by external temp but since i i purely rely on all my roses bt i keep it at bean temp then you go here to load your background you pick the background 
that you want to use. You open it, and then it'll show up. And that's what your auto roast will follow. Another thing that I've been asked in regards to the SV, I crashed my first auto roast because I moved the SV during the auto roast and it crashed it. So what I've done is I went ahead and increased my SV. Now I've got my S set value set to manual so I can actually manually adjust my set value. In order to do that, you go over to control Where's my mouse? There it is. Okay. And I set my, my control, my mode, my set value to manual so I can manually adjust it. There are options for the set value. You can ramp soak, background. It was set to background originally and it would pretty much do its own thing. Now it's probably maybe a good thing but I it so it'll follow the background but I just want to do it manually because there's only really two adjustments that I use which is the 186 my drop temp when I'm preheating and then the max to 230 even though I never go up to 230 Celsius I will drop usually around depending on the bean my max bean temp I've ever did was 210 but 205 seems to be my sweet spot for the lighter roast I use 196. So I'm going to clear my background profile right now and just leave you with my final roast.